I started smoking myself when I was 17, and quitting was one of the hardest things I ever did. I failed 11 times, finally got in a program. Patrick Reynolds is an unlikely advocate for others to not even pick up the deadly habit. This photo, taken when Patrick was a child, shows a happy family, but his father's death when he was 15 had a profound effect on him. I remember him gasping for breath, and they say that you find your calling where you've been hurt the most deeply. Reynolds didn't fully understand his father's death until he became an adult. He says with mounting evidence showing the dangerous effects of smoking, it's time states use more money generated from cigarette sales for tobacco prevention and cessation. Reynolds would also like to see a greater effort to protect non-smokers. There's an overwhelming body of scientific proof that secondhand smoke causes lung cancer, causes heart disease, and banning it and protecting non-smokers uh, is just an idea that whose time has arrived. Reynolds' message is in line with the nonprofit group Smoke Free Ori. The message and the hope is that people will take advantage of resources that are available to them, the youth that they will not choose to start smoking to be cool, and they'll maintain their health throughout their life.